Oh, let's pick up the Rubik pretty early on as well, maybe to try and dissuade M19 from picking up any more big team fight spells if you can get the steal from any of the Omni Knight spells as well. That Purify, really strong spell in the middle of the team fight. So Rubik may just look into prioritize the Omni Knight. Earth Spirit picked up once again by M19. Now the Omni Knight has been picked up as an offlaner more and more these days as well, so I wonder if this is going to be a position 5 or a position 3 Omni. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team ban. Radiant team ban. So there's going to be quick bans actually, they ban out the Medusa, the Razor gets banned from M19. Maybe going for something like the Viper uh, this match. Which after 7.07, really strong hero one anyway, but after zero, uh, 7.07 did, did just seem to get a little bit stronger. And usually one of the first four or five heroes ban. So the Death Prophet, the Lone Druid, so M19 really not want to be playing up against any of those Siege heroes from the last match. Oh, okay, we, there was a quick disconnect there from OBS. Thank you OBS for telling me you've reconnected, that is great. Apologize uh, folks for the quick disconnect. Not 100% sure what happened, but we are back. So again, once again, White's looking for the third pickup. They picked up the 4 and the 5 with the Rubik and the Night Stalker. They've got the Omni Knight and the Spirit on the side of M19, so that looks like it's going to be the 4 and the 5 there as well. So White's, what are they going to go, be going for as far as the 3, 2 and the 1? Yesterday they did pick up the Clockwork, both matches. Though that looks like it was a Roman 4 star clockwork. Necrophos, again another hero they picked up both matches yesterday, is available as far as I can see for whites. If that's, that's something they want to go towards. Just taking the time, they've only got 40 seconds left in this reserve time. So... No disconnects, it is just White's taking the time to think about this draft. Now that the Underlord as well as the Bane and the Lone Druid have been burnt out. Oh boy, they picked themselves up the Spirit Breaker as well. Okay, is this going to be a position 3 Night Stalker, a 4 and a 5 Rubik? We'll have to wait and see, but the Shadow Demon picked up by M19. And the Luna's still there, and the Mirana's still there, Clockwork if they want to pick that up, still available, all combo great with the Shadow Demon. So this looks like it is going to be a pause 3 Omni Knight, could potentially be a pause 3 Night Stalker. And our whites, do they pick up the Luna themselves, maybe just to go for a block pick? With Shadow Demon being picked up on the other side. Dire team picked. Whites pick themselves up the Gyrocopter. Okay, yeah, okay, I guess. It's a decent pause one. Great farming potential, um, deals with illusions well if or when the Shadow Demon gets his disrupt off. Five seconds remaining. To get a little bit of a buff in 7.07 .07 as well with the homing missile no longer having a cast point, I do believe.
Swim 19, do they go for the Luna? Radiant team. They're gonna pick up the Luna. Again, great hero with the Pershy combo with the Shadow Demon. And we go back, it was about... Was it a year ago? Just over a year ago. With the Shadow Demon and the Luna. Just before the 7.00 came out. Where they were running an absolute amok. And now it looks like that combo is back. The puck going to be banned out there from Whites. It could have actually been a good pickup for Whites. Um, you get that Dream Coil off with the Gyrocopter's call down over the top as well. Five seconds remaining. So what's left? M19. Well, both teams actually potentially need a mid laner. But M19 still needs a ban. What do you think whites are going to be picking up here? The Storm Spirit is extremely strong. Extremely strong, this patch. And hasn't been banned out either. Uh, the Tink is going to be the, the ban coming out from M19. Again, a grong. A grong. Strong. Um, gank potential, great push potential as well, depending on whether it goes to the lasers, rocket build, or the merch of the machine build. Ten seconds remaining. Just taking a look, the DP has been banned out, which whites actually like to run themselves. M19 though, have just over, or just under a minute for this last pick. Pikachu, known to like the Storm Spirit himself, so that could be the pickup for M19 if that's what they want to go for. Great gank potential, like I say, extremely strong, uh, just one versus one, and with the mana rework, uh, gets himself a Kaya, or a Kaya, goes for the Bloodstone or a Lincoln Sphere for the extra regen. And just starts zip zapping across the map and absolutely wrecking face, one versus one. going to be the Queen of Pain. This is great fight potential in the mid lane. Uh, great burst as well as damage over the time with the Scream of Pain, Sonic Wave and then into the Dagger. Mobility as well with Blink. So good strong hero. Whites, they've got nine seconds to think about this last pick of what's it gonna be? It's gonna be the Viper. So it's gonna be Massacre on the Night Stalker, Sam on the Rubik, we've got Star on the Spirit Breaker once again, Zigrax is gonna be picking up the Gyrocopter, and Sailor on the Viper. So it's gonna be a mid Viper, it looks like it's gonna be that safe lane Gyrocopter, Stora on the Roman Spirit Breaker, Sam on the Rubik, and Massacre. Looks like it is going to be that pause 3 Night Stalker. Meanwhile, on the side of M19, Blizzy on the Omni Knight. Yumi on the Earth Spirit. Muriel on the Shadow Demon. Luna just waiting to be picked up there by uh, Nyx. And Pikachu on the Queen of Pain. So, yeah, off lane Omni Knight, you've got the position 4 5. Earth Spirit, Shadow Demon, Luna on the pause 1, and Pikachu in that mid lane. And it's going to be 
if whites can win this, they do move through to the next brackets of the lower, the next group of the lower brackets. So M19 need to win this to force it to a game three with a chance of moving on themselves. Smoke available on the Shadow Demon is actually going towards the top. Nightstalker gets himself a ward down in the mid uh, just to help out the Viper Sailor. Three heroes, Blizzy. Oh, Blizzy, what are you doing? There's a charge available. They're going to make a move on this. There's going to be the rocket barrage coming out from the Gyrocopter as well as the Telkinesis. Blizzy going to try and run himself away. Pops a tango, but one second. This should be enough damage coming out from the rocket barrage just to find the kill. One more right click. Anything but the body blocks come out from Pikachu. Sorry, he's going to be able to get the charge. The self comes off onto Blizzy. So Blizzy gets himself out safely, but it could be Pikachu playing with his life. Able to blink away, but it puts the blink on cooldown. Blizzy rotates himself behind once again, maybe to look for the rune snatch. But this time, there's going to be no Queen of Pain as she's forced back into the fountain to heal up. Meanwhile, M19 do get the top rune. Nyx picks that one up. <laughs> Blizzy just hides himself in the trees. Yeah, so it's going to be double runes for the carries. Both mid laners, the body block comes off. It's just going to be the one creep in the mid lane. So the push potential should be there. Close, but not quite. Sailor actually gets the deny off. Which is going to be pretty big in the mid lane. But Pikachu gets a return deny if we take a look at the last hits. One for one and zero for one. Which, okay, it doesn't really matter when you're just getting the odd deny. But those things really start to add up. The evade on that as well, the poison attack, it is six seconds between. And that was two uphill misses. Omni Knight, the make and a move, Blizzy. So it is just a charge from Star. The Telkinesis comes out, the right clicks are gonna be the Dragon Blizzy back. He gets the purification off just to keep himself healthy. But at the same time, it means he's gonna be forced away from these creeps. The courier comes through, spotted out by Yumi. The blink, Pikachu, is he going to be able to find this kill? It's the rolling boulder and the rabbit, run rabbit, run. And it looks like Stora. Just going to be there to bodyguard the courier back. Yumi though. Trying to look for the kill. And it looks like you, yeah, the courier's going to be able to get himself around. The rolling boulder comes through. It looks like there's a disruption on the top lane. Massacre, is he trapped in there? It looks like he is with the poison coming through from the shadow demon as well. This could be a kill. Mural, though, dragging Massacre and forcing him to right, try and right click himself out of this. So Muriel gets forced low. Massacre gets forced low. But in the end, both heroes once again get themselves out safely. Yumi salves cancelled into the recharge. Not enough mana. And it looks like it's a game of close but no cigar. There's a decent war to see any rotations in. Like, okay, he's in this. Doesn't matter. Pikachu's got to be pushing up. She's got to know that Stora's missing, though. Kayla, what's he going to be able to do? Pikachu needs to come down onto the low ground just to look for these last hits. <laughs> it's going to be backstabs after backstabs. Zume, Muriel, inside the smokes. So the rotation comes in. There's going to be the dagger with Stora's there. The banish comes through as soon as the rolling boulder. And it looks like Yumi could be in a little bit of trouble. He's already used the boulder to get himself in. So he's not going to be able to get himself out. This could, should, would be the first blood. And they save it for the Viper. 
so he wasn't able to get himself a room, but does pick up that first blood. Now bot lane, charge coming out onto Blizzy, maybe just to get the Spirit Breaker back onto this lane quickly. Meanwhile, top lane, they're gonna try and make a move onto Massacre. Massacre getting pretty down low, should go down even with the furry fight just needs one more lucent beam hides himself in the trees tries to get himself out with the night time the tower comes through it's actually gonna be nix picks up that kill meanwhile stora charges through the kick cancels that off the so track's getting pretty close to that tower Got his three points into the rocket barrage as well, so that's going to be pretty darn strong. Stora doesn't have the mana for a charge. Pikachu, phew, he's got himself a bottle. Okay, so he's got himself the double null tally as well. It's fairly healthy. The rotation comes in from the back of Massacre. There needs to be silence instantly blinks himself up onto the high ground. Gets himself out of danger. Charge onto Blizzy. Yumi is there to back him up. The rocket barrage comes through as well. Blizzy with the purification. He's gonna throw out the repel as well. The roll comes in. Blizzy getting pretty darn low. Yumi could actually kick Stora towards Blizzy. The purification could save his life. They get the return kill onto Stora. So one for two. That was actually a pretty neat kicking him into the purification. Could have gone one of two ways if that purification wasn't on target. But now Stora level two actually cancels the charge. Massacre comes across Pikachu, the right clicks, the silence, the void. Are they going to try and make a move the charge as well to try and track him after the silence wears off? The bash from the charge, but there's going to be the kick. Pikachu healed up by the purification, gets a sonic wave over, and Stora is going to go down. Massacre could be next to follow as Kayla does secure the kill onto Pikachu. Massacre flies himself up into the creeps, but he's going to be able to survive that. They are asleep, and it looks like Kayla's going to pay with his life. As the Night Stalker, I immediately regret my decision. Oh, could be a finish actually. Yume kicking the gyrocopter, but it's going to be Zitrax with the call down. Takes the kill onto Yume. So two for two. Both mid laners and both Roman supports going down. Ooh, Massacre doesn't have a TP. Behind enemy lines. Needs to move himself over to the side shop just to look for the TP out. Can't fly himself away either. Charge on the mid lane, it's going to be Queen of Pain, still has the blinker, now that's going to be two points into the dagger, Stora going to be taking a lot of damage over the time, Kayla moves himself up just to put a little bit of frost onto Pikachu, but Pikachu just going to shrug it off with the bottle. A Viper actually going for three points into the poison attack and two points into the corrosive skin. Both lanes the tracks. Got himself the phase boots going towards the Mask of Madness, it looks like. Is level 8. Taking a look at the hero levels. Highest level in the game. Highest net worth in the game as well. The Radiant Scan, they spot Yumi. The ward does see the gyrocopter. I think it just sees Star as well. As a top, Lucent Beam's going to be there. There's going to be a dagger coming through onto Sam as well. Sam should go down to the tick damage. And it's actually going to be Nyx with the last right click that picks that one up.
Blizzy on the boat. Getting towards his level 6 actually just picks that up with the last creep. But it looks like Stora looking for the charge. Meanwhile the rotation comes through. Oh, the disruption. Seconds, milliseconds away from catching out that TP and gyrocopter. So top lane, Rubik with the smoke, it's gonna break Nyx, Fable comes through, cooldown, cooldown even with the telekinesis and the rocket barrage comes through Nyx, trying to keep himself healthy with the kick from Yumi but it's not gonna be enough and now Earth Spirit's all alone, there's no mana from the gyrocopter to do a lot. Radiant structures are fortified. But the kill onto Nyx seems to be enough. Mid lane. No, it's gonna be the Viper Strike coming out onto Blizzy. He drops the repel onto himself. The disruption, the rolling ball. Oh, Kayla could be in a lot of trouble. This telekinesis just drags Yumi back, and Sam just runs himself away. But with four heroes here, the Viper tries. He might won't be getting being able to live through that. And actually, this is a big thing. Yeah, the illusion comes out from the minus eight. What? Oh, it's because it's until the hero's back alive. Yeah. Any hero that dies under the soul catcher, yeah, it is. It's until they respawn. Dyer's top tower is under attack. So the Zitrax again, still top of the net worth by about six hundred gold, having a grand old time. Night Stalker level 6 as well. Night time in just over a minute. And both teams just taking the time to, to do a little bit of farming to set up, you know, Nyx in the jungle. It looks like they want to make a move onto the Queen of Pain. The night time's going to be popped. There's going to be the silence as well as the stun coming out from Stora with the rocket barrage. This should be enough to take down the Queen of Pain. Now the push potential on the top lane coming out from Zatrax as well as Massacre. This could be a, a top lane tier 1 tower pressured by the side of Whites. Viper going towards the Dragonlance. There's going to be the silence, so there's going to be no disruption. The Void comes out, instant TPs from the Queen of Pain, cancelled by the Earth Spray of the Charge, cancelled by Stora. But bot lane, it looks like they want to make a move on to Rubik. Rubik is going to take a fall, but the TP's coming in from Viper. TP out from Yumi. Is it going to be enough damage? It's actually going to be enough from Zitrax with that Mask of Madness as well as the Rocket Barrage. And now Blizzy trapped in the trees. Kayla can get off the Viper Strike. Blizzy gets the Repel. Meanwhile, back in the mid, Queen of Pain silence. Is there going to be enough damage before the silence wears off? It doesn't look like it. The Sonic Wave comes out. And Pikachu actually kills off Stora on the back line. Massacre returns the favour with the help of Sam. Regeneration. Blizzy gets himself a regen. Level 8 now as well. Uh, again, look at the hero levels. Level 12 on the Gyrocopter, 11 on the Luna. This should start to um, excel pretty damn fast with it being able to farm stacks like this. Excel? Accelerate. But she's low. If there's any vision of this, any invade at all, this ward spot in the rotation's up though. Oh, the smoke. I don't think it was seen. It's 
smoke breaks. Yumi going to be spotted out. The telekinesis doesn't come out from the Rubik. He's actually come for a 2-3, so nothing into the null field just yet. And Nyx back up pretty darn healthy. So the push comes in. Bottom lane, tier 1 tower. Taking pressure from Zatrax as well as Kayla. The charge comes through onto the Omni Knight. The bash is going to be there. What was stolen by the Rubik? It's actually going to be the Purify. Drag back from the Omni Knight. The kick just hits onto Stara. Stara can't really follow that up. And the Queen of Pain picks up 10 strength as opposed to... And 25 damage. Yeah, okay, I guess the survivability is needed from the Queen of Pain. But once again, White's looking to push his 5 onto the tier 2 tower 13 minutes, 14 minutes in. So the push going to be repelled by M19. And if we take a look at the ward vision, there's not really a lot there, just the one offensive ward. Yeah, and the vision up on the top lane by the side of M19 as well. It means the Gyrocopter's going to be able to push in this top lane. Pretty uncontested because the TPs did come in from M19 to the spot lane. So they're all going to be on cooldown on the side of M19. It looks like they want to try and make an advantage of this though. Stora trying to run himself away. Massacre gets the silence. There's going to be the drums popped as well. Yumi trying to do what he can. The rolling boulder comes through onto Massacre. Massacre is going to be able to run himself away. The charge comes through onto Yumi. It's going to bash onto Blizzy as well. The purification is going to be there. But it looks like they are going to be able to take down the Earth Spirit. No, the Guardian's Angel just protected a Massacre. He's going to be able to try and go back in on this. Meanwhile, the Gyrocopter top lane did take the tower. Yeah, it did take the tower. So tier 1 falls on the bot. Just gonna be a trade. Stora goes for the charge onto the Queen of Pain, but the blink away just in time. Meanwhile, the tracks, Nyx dancing around each other. The cooldown cool comes out onto Muriel. Fable comes through. There's going to be the Eclipse as well. Sam taking a lot of damage, but it's actually going to be mitigated between the Crypts. Sam actually taken down by Nyx anyway. A Gyrocopter gets the TP away. Massacre though, trying to chase down the Queen of Pain. Blizzy taking a lot of damage, needs to be careful. Nyx, gonna be able to farm up these creeps, gets low, but with the purification there, as well as that Mask of Madness. Radiant scan. Don't really see anything. It looks like they were trying to see if anyone was around the Roshan pit. Maybe dropping wards and just trying to protect the Roshan attempt. With all five heroes on the side of M19 missing Pikachu. Charge comes out. There's going to be a homing missile as well. Hastrun has popped. There's going to be the repel comes out. So the homing missile cancelled. Now Pikachu. Are they going to try and make a move on this? The Viper. Yeah, it's going to be the ultimate from Star. The disruption comes out. But it looks like Kalmy Knight should be taking a fall here. Even with the purifications. Drax secures that kill. So once again, White's move is 5. I hear a shrine being popped. It's actually popped by Pikachu. The push coming in from the tracks as well as the Viper. So Nether Toxin, level 2. Rubik as well, this actually goes great when the Null Field comes up. You get your Nether Toxin as well as the Null Field on Offensive, so you're minus 22 Magic Resist there. Minus 15 there. So that starts to stack up. Oh, bot lane, Muriel. Taken down by Massacre. But no backup available, so Massacre gets himself 200 health now because of the talent. Rotations come through. I'm pretty sure the Nyx was spotted by this rune. Uh, Ward even. The 
rotation coming through. The smoke is there. It's going to be broken now. Pikachu up onto the high ground, but the charge comes through from Stora onto Muriel. Is there going to be anything to try and deal with this? The cooldown comes through. There's going to be the Sonic Wave with the disruption. Dodges out the at least the first parts of the cooldown. Now they make a move onto Pikachu. Meanwhile, back lines. There's going to be the Eclipse. He take down Sam to tracks. Trying to do what he can now. Yumi getting pretty down low. There's going to be the Guardian Angel and Yumi. Going to be kept healthy. Massacre. Tries to run himself away. The Magnetize comes out and it looks like Yumi does take a fall and Kayla secures that kill. The dagger. Nick's gonna be spotted. One right click. They take down the spirit breaker and massacre now with the loosened beam. Is he gonna be able to survive through this? The silence comes out. There's gonna be the nether toxin as well. A couple more right clicks and Nyx takes a fall to the Viper. So so far, two for three. In fact, was it a three for three? Did the Rubik I think the Rubik here took a fall? Three for four. Muriel went down as well. It's just those respawn times. And a level 8 Shadow Demon, they come up so quickly. I am ever so grateful. So. Is level 8, nowhere near the talents just yet, potentially goes for that plus 200 health, doesn't really need the 60 damage, uh, just needs to survive through those fights so he can get the spell steals off and really throw them back into M19 space, the charge comes through Pikachu, Nighttime's popped as well. <laughs> As Kayla denies the rune I think. That's a pretty deep observer ward. So Viper got himself the Dragon Lance now moving towards the full Hurricane Pike. Was up on the top lane. Massacre just trying to defend this T1 tower, getting pretty low. Just not in deny range though, I don't don't think. Yeah, White's moving themselves into Roshan Stora. Just gonna be taking the brunt of this, it looks like. The Roshan, not gonna be up that long as the damage coming through from the gyrocopter with the mask of madness as well as the rocket barrage making quick work there's gonna be the scan from the dire are they gonna be quick enough to make a move into the rose champagne all five heroes on the side of whites are there and it's only really the queen of pain that's anywhere close only knight as well as the earth spirit rotating in now but the radiant already pick up the roshan and aegis goes their way But Lane being pressured by the creeps, but it looks like the tracks is going to move himself over now on the gyrocopter just to push this back out. Upon a Let's take a look at the items. Nyx got himself the Mask of Manus. He's going towards... Actually going straight towards the Butterfly. Got himself 3k gold. Muriel. Nothing really there special. He's got himself the Smoke of Deceit. Hanamidas on Blizzy. Got himself the Drums. Pikachu. Ball. Is he going towards the Veil? Actually, who picked up the PKB just then? Okay. So Luna. Swapping out now. From the... The butterfly going straight towards that BKB. Just needs about 700 more gold and it's going to be the. But again, White's all five heroes on the bot lane looking for the push. Just needs the creep wave to push up. They should lose a tier one, but as soon as the creeps come up, yeah. Sam drawing the battle lines, just saying straight up the. So 
so this could be a trade and the last time whites went for a trade they didn't stop at the tier 2 the pressure of the tier 3 they forced m19 back and they still took a rax So the push coming in, the trade going to be that the tier 2 on the bot lane falls a lot faster uh, on the top lane falls a lot faster than this bot lane tier 2 and it looks like it's going to be white's turn to defend as the TP's all come back Muriel just hanging around making sure his carries get out now the fight on the top lane, they take down Pikachu and the start charge coming in from Stora. Nyx with the Mask of Manus trying to chase down whatever he can. This is going to be the night time. Sailor caught in the trees. This is going to be the nether tucks and the courier though. <laughs> Just being fortified as Kayla was the Looks like the Viper will take a dive. So one for one, both mid laners going down. Both tier 2 towers taking a fall as well, but it looks like they're not done yet. Nyx with the Mask of Manus, the void's going to be there. The silence on to... The Luna, is it going to be enough with these illusions? It looks like Stora may take it out if the purification comes out Nick stays alive. And the two-man kill mission on the core fails as M19 pick themselves up a second kill. So the Night Stalker did get up Burly alive going towards that Aghanim Scepter now as well. Drax pops the Mask of Manus, he is all alone, he's just trying to push in this bot lane, maybe take a bit of heat off the mid, but Sam's there, what's he stolen? He actually steals the Scream of Pain. It's a level 4 Scream of Pain as well, so that's a decent amount of burst on top of the Fable already. Fourteen to 14 to 14, 4k net worth advantage going the way of M19. Oh, Gyrocopter, putting himself at risk all that way up. The Illoon Illusions come out. As it looks like M19 just wanted to clean off this creep wave, put the backdoor protection back on the tower, but the tower getting pretty low may go down before it's back up. Charge comes through onto Blizzy, the night time's going to be there as well, kick back from Yume, there's going to be the Stora cancels his ultimate, Yule Sap to the cooldown comes through. But Pikachu able to blink himself away. There's no sounds coming through the Lucent Beam Massacre. Now the Eclipse is popped onto the high ground as well. BKB Sonic Wave comes through. Sam is going to be absolutely blown up. And now Nyx picks up Storo as well. This is going to be an awful fight going the way of White. It could be a full five-man wipe as Massacre tries to run himself away. But Nyx is on the chase. One more Lucent Beam. One more anything. And Nyx picks it up with the right click. Five for zero. They lost a tier two, but they win the fight. This is exactly what N19 needed, and even the creeps pushing down on this tier three tower on the bot. At uh, top, even. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. And Luna going towards Is that gonna be Monkey King Bar after she's done? She's got the two javelins queued up. Making Lunar Illusions off the Lunar Illusions. And now it's M19's turn. To be the strong CG team. 9k net worth advantage. If we take a look at the graph. It is just starting to catch up now. Yeah and again the items massacre. He's got himself the solo crest. Kayla 
Got the Hurricane Pike. Is this going to be an Axe or a BKB? It looks like it's going to be a BKB as the Nighttime popped once again by Massacre. The Observer what sees Pikachu. Sees Blizzy. Or saw Blizzy at least. So Massacre sees the illusions, just tries to do what he can to try and deal with them, but they do so much damage on their own. And Luna, yeah, that is it's gonna be a monkey king bar. I forgot about the change, queuing up the um the way the items build now, they're going to be able to take down Sam. The cooldown comes through, but the BKB is popped by Zigtrax. Nyx just wants to carry on chasing with the Mask of Madness available. Not popped his BKB just yet. Stora getting pretty low. Is there going to be any follow up from the side of Blizzy? There's going to be a Lucent Beam. Stora is being chased out, trying to do what he can, but the charge isn't going to be up. Taken down by Nyx, and now Sailor tries to TP his way, gets banished. And five heroes just collapse onto the Viper. Three heroes down. And it looks like M19. Going to be taking at least a tier 3 with all these illusions. Backline. Massacre stunned up. Yumi getting purified. And this is where it starts. The Lunar Illusions. The BKB popped in the blink forwards. Sonic Waves. The track's getting pretty low. Taken down by the Scream of Pain, Pikachu using the last of its mana to secure that kill. Could put him in a little bit of trouble. The Telekinesis and the Sonic Wave stolen by Sam. Instantly buys back. So Nyx repels there, so the homing missile doesn't do anything. The charge comes through. Nyx taking a bit of damage, but Sam may take a fall. The eclipse comes through. It's going to be Sam taking a dive. Three heroes down now. The buyback comes out instantly from the Night Stalker as well as the Rubik, but the tracks. It's just going to be good game, well played. It's M19. Take it to a game number three. 30 minutes in. So, one for one in games. And both teams fighting for the survival. Whites just couldn't pull it off this time as M19's team fights so much stronger than Whites. So this was game two. We're going to be going to a game three shortly. Stick around. We'll be back with that soon. I've been Robin Roll. Hope you've enjoyed the cast and I'll see you for the next game.